What's up, yo? <laughs> I'm Meredith, and this is Penny. Welcome to the boudoir. And today, my friend Penny, whose hair and makeup I did, and I have the links in the description to how I did her hair and how I did her makeup. Uh, so check those out. But, um... Today on the boudoir, Penny and I are going to smell some Middle Eastern perfumes and I'm going to get feedback from Penny on what she thinks. So um, let's do this thing. I think we'll start with like what, like one of my favorites, okay? So I think this not an ultra expensive perfume it's by Swiss Arabian it's called uh, Leali Rouge and it's an attar which is an oil with rose in it and these are all attars they all have rose but they are different flavors they're fruity gourmand rose attars so this has a little bit of a, um, I don't know if you can see in there, but you just kind of, I think these are a great value too for the, for the, for the presentation and um, the scents are so beautiful. So we'll start with this one. We're just going to put a little on our scent strip because if we were to put this on you, by the end of this, you would have a lot too much. <laughs> and it would be very hard to distinguish one from the other. Mm, that's that's amazing already. Can you tell? Yes. And it is such a sweet. Yeah, it's very fruity. Um, sometimes when I'm not on camera, I can screw the lid back on. Wow, Meredith, you might change my mind about <laughs> perfume. Yeah, that's, that's. Cool. You get any of the, um, there's papaya in there. Are you smelling that? Not distinctly. It's, it seems, it's sweet. It's melon though. You do yes. like melon. Yeah. So you, you got that melon note. And then you get a little, you getting any of the lemon that's in the top? Not getting lemon. Not really. You get any of that uh, pineapple? There's peach in there. Peach, definitely. Yeah, that's why I'm getting mostly sweet fruits. And you're get? Are you getting any of the rose? Yes. Yeah, but not not an overwhelming fragrance. No. If if I just if somebody just presented that to me, I would not say, oh, that's rose scented with floral. Yes, floral and fruity. Very rose, yeah. yeah. This for really for nice. Middle Eastern fragrance, this is fairly, this is a good beginner Middle Eastern fragrance, right? Not too strong, mm -hmm. really pleasant. I get lots of compliments when I wear this one. I bet. All right, and that was Leali Rouge by Swiss Arabian. Super beautiful. So the next one we will try is the Leali. All of the all the names are pretty similar. And that has a beautiful blue bottle. Thank you for very discreetly passing me a scent strip. That was hyper discreet. I didn't check all the scent strips. That's that's <laughs> your department now. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put a little bit of that on there. I love the glass wand. I know, it's fairly, I just put a little on my wrist, mm -hmm. up my arm, mm -hmm. um, and it's what I would call a skin scent. It doesn't uh, project a lot. It's more for you. I don't really, yeah. When right? you're, you need a calming moment, you just go, oh, I feel so much better now. 
but you don't want the whole work environment to like have to experience you necessarily. Actually, I work in healthcare, and it's part of the um, policy, um, corporate policy. There's no strong sense. Yeah. Yeah. This, this you could get by wearing that first one. Absolutely, the rouge. I think this one's a little stronger, don't you? Definitely. It's got warmer tones, like a vanilla and a musk. Mm -hmm. You got it. Well, it's got it's got uh, some black currant and orange in the top. Okay. And it's got some ylang ylang mm. and rose in the heart. But the base that's a little stronger is an oud with some amber in it. Mm. And that's why it's a little heavier. I like that. And it's going to have more staying power too. You're going to, if you want something that you can smell on yourself all day. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that oud, which is auger wood. Mm. But this, I'll be honest, of these four, this is probably, I think this is my least favorite one. And I still like it. I, all these four are beautiful scents. But we'll see what you think, okay? We're gonna... That'd be for a date night. That one's, yeah, that was more of a nighttime scent, right? Definitely. Okay, so let's try your, your job. Um, let's try the purple one. This is Swiss Arabian Eulali. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry to say. I didn't do enough research to, to know exactly what these mean. I think they're Arabic words. It would be interesting to research. And I apologize to anyone who wanted to know and I don't have that information. Okay, and this is a nice way to transfer it on. Seems seems to have a mint element to it. Let's see. Mint. It's got the, the heavier base notes like the last one. Less, much less floral and fruit, much less fruity. Let's see. That has musk in it. You're probably getting some of that. Yeah. And it has magnolia in the heart huh. mm -hmm. and jasmine. And it, it opens with bergamot and tangerine. But it, it is a deeper scent, right? It's definitely deeper than the first one. And sandalwood. You okay. Have the sandalwood? Yeah, that time, yeah. It gives that little powdery quality that I associate with sandalwood. I'm a little less with like powdery to me. So yeah. where would you put this in your ranking of the three you've smelled uh, so far? Third. Okay. Of the three. So this is your third. It must be the musk. It's the musk. Mm -hmm. There's something about musk. This just doesn't agree really with you. Correct. Mm -hmm. So that is this one. So that's your number three choice. This was your number one. Rose, yes. Uh huh. And that Rouge. was the Leali Rouge. Yes. And your second choice is the um, straight Leali. Okay, so now let's do our final Swiss Arabian, which is the Amali. They're such gorgeous. Do you see these bottles? Stunning. It's the crystal on the top and each one having a different flower and the gold. And these are under fifty dollars. Seriously, for that price, that's, that's a lot in there. Well, it's I don't I actually think it doesn't hold that much. It's um, mm. five, um, fifteen ml. Okay, it's okay. average. Yeah, it's a half of an ounce, but it's an oil, so you use less. What do you think? I, there's no. I'm not getting any musk in this one. So yeah, there's that, that is correct. A lot more top notes. It's not not as heavy on the bottom. I'm definitely getting the rose. The rose is quite prominent in this one for me. 
but it seems to be um, something sweet in there with it, like a vanilla, something warm. You got sweet. it. You got it. The base has amber and vanilla. It's very pleasant. I really, that's my second mm, favorite. Yeah, this one. I, you get the, There's some cedar wood in here, mm. and it kind of cuts everything a little bit. Mm. I'm keen on this. I love that one. Mm -hmm. I second. Mm. Pineapple, lemon in the top notes. Jasmine and rose in the middle notes. Cedar wood, amber, vanilla in the base. Yeah. That, to me, also, this one, I detect like a soapy smell, a little bit soapy. Do you get that? I don't mind it. It's clean. Very clean. Mm -hmm. I would wear that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't think this would put people off. No. It's just extremely well balanced. Yeah. Great scent. Good job, Swiss Arabian. Swiss Arabian. The brand, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have some really good ones. It's our mountain horse. Our alpine horse. I think somehow <laughs> at the, in the origin of the company, somebody Swiss was doing a partnership with somebody Arab, and they ended up with... I'm, I'm just making stuff up. Okay. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> it's fake history with me. <laughs> Meredith. Infinity. All right, here we go. So this is a brand called Rasasi. Is this my favorite one? I love that's Barik. This is this is my favorite one, and that's the one that Penny's gonna try today. And uh, this one is um, Rasana. Okay, but. Because of certain time restraints, we're going to try Ebhar today. And that is a, that's where it's at for me, the Ebhar. So, here's my Ebhar. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to spread this as far away from Penny as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm going to let some of that alcohol come off the top. Nobody needs that. All right, nobody needs the first 20 seconds of any scent. Here we go. Mm, that's very powdery. That's like, some, reminds me of something my mom used to wear. What do you think? Is it a like? Is it a tolerate? Is it a get the hell away from me? No, it's, it's attract. I could tolerate someone around. That would be very comforting. If someone were close to me, like you were doing my hair or makeup set and wearing that, yeah, that, that pulls me in. That's not like, oh, please. <laughs> but I don't know that I would want to spray it on me and smell it all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one will hang in there. The, the longevity is there. You put this scent on six hours later, it's still there. It's okay. changed. It's evolved. And by the end, you're smelling just your base notes. Um, but yeah, it, it, it hangs in. So let's see, at the top, there's lemon and green apple. Okay. Okay. Middle notes, lotus flower, damask rose, mm. orris and jasmine. And the base notes, vanilla, praline, tonka bean, and musk. And I'm not, I don't have an aversion to the musk in that. Lovely. I think the musk is a minor player. Okay. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. I always get the vanilla. Mm -hmm. And I get tobacco, although it's mm -hmm. not in here, but I get it. So it's some combination of things that gives you the tobacco. Yeah, it's like a vanilla tobacco. And it's like if cashmere had a smell, it would smell like this is smooth. And yeah, it's smooth. A lot warm. of people in my fragrance groups are talking about vanillas all the time, which is the best vanilla. And there are some out there that are way more expensive than this, that don't smell nearly as good and don't last nearly as long as this. So it, for under $50, uh, Rasasi Quasimat Ebhar, the best vanilla <laughs> from, from my point of view. So give it a try. Looks like this. And you can purchase these on Amazon. And they'll come unbroken. They come unbroken <laughs> from the seller I've been buying from. Excellent. Yeah. And then um, in another video, I'll do a little 
uh, scent comparison and um, with the other uh, the other Rasasi Quasimont uh, products. I think maybe that one was the only one called Quasimont. Anyway, that that is my absolute favorite. So, uh, did we get them all? Did we do them? Oh, we have one left, which I actually think is going to be Penny's favorite scent. So I saved it for last. Yay! And the reason I think that this will be Penny's favorite is because Penny likes what I consider to be more unisex fragrance notes. Absolutely. Yeah. So when CK1 came out, yeah, that was my go-to. Yeah. That, let's, you know, maybe this is not really herbal, but it is just like delicious and anyone could wear it, a guy could wear it, a girl could wear it. If you're not even sure if it's perfume, honestly, um, when you smell it, but we'll give it a try. We'll, let's get an honest response from Penny. Oh, by the way, this is Ragba. It's a Middle Eastern brand. I got this off of Amazon also, and it's called Wood Intense, if I didn't already mention that. Here we go. I am, I am a wood scent individual, that is for sure. That is wood intense. They're not lying. No, it's got the cedar. It's got, it's got the pine, pine notes. I feel like there's some, a little bit of musk in there maybe. There's oud. There's oud. So mm -hmm. oud reminds me of musk? I think it does sometimes. It's amber, but it's more like an amber. Uh, well, oud is, it's like a wood. So it's, um, it's like a smoky wood, a wood resin. It's deep and lasting. It's sort of, it's I love that. the intensity to most Middle Eastern perfumes is usually provided by the oud. Because this reminds me of what I used to wear, just straight amber resin. Mm. And yeah, it has that. And it has the amber too in the base. But it's kind of, it's nice, right? It's like lovely. It, it's lovely. Yeah. What can I say? It's comforting and grounding. Yeah, and you don't look around the room like, who's wearing perfume? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you just think, something smells good. Mm -hmm. And then you quietly think, mm, that's me. <laughs> you're welcome. Well, Penny, <laughs> you're welcome very much. <laughs> Penny, thank you so much for hanging out with me thank you, and Margaret. smelling the perfume. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to see my new videos that I try to put out every week or two weeks. And uh, great hanging out with you. All right. Have a great day. Bye.